Oh, I'm excited to get out, get inside. What is it, the third day of muzzleloader season, so you never like to compete with anyone who's got a piece of equipment that's a lot more efficient than you have, but just about everything is more efficient than what I've got. So we're gonna try and make it in a few miles. It's only a couple hours before dark now, maybe even less than that, so we don't have a whole lot of time, but we're gonna try and put a little distance between us and the parking lot and get out there and, and have a uh, wilderness experience without a lot of other hunting pressure. That'd be super, super nice. And uh, see if we can hear some elk bugling. So it's about a quarter to eight. We only came in maybe three miles or so, but uh, We've got a bunch of nice, really nice looking country just over the ridge from us, right behind us here. So I'm hoping tomorrow we can get into some elk. I had a guy reach out to me and gave me some intel. He came in here, uh, it was a week or so back and shot a nice bull. So we're, uh, we're starting out in the area where he left off and gonna give it a whirl before we go deeper in. It's kind of senseless to pack right by good elk country here. And we didn't have much for daylight, so kind of worked out well. We'll give this a try tomorrow and maybe it could be the next few days here. We'll just see how it kind of plays out. But in the meantime, it's the mad flurry of action to try to race darkness and get the tent set up. <laughs> I got you going over here. What's that? You going right over here. Is that right? Dude! <laughs> got an update Corey just peeked over the edge right here just to see if he could see anything and uh, I mean he wasn't gone for two and a half minutes and came back and said they're bugling right over the ridge here so we're in it Sweet. First morning, we called in two six points. We're on the tail end of a herd of, of uh, elk with a really, really big herd bull. It's uh, got to be over 3.30. Just a bugling right over there. So we're in them. I'm doing right again. Those uh, left of the two that were back in there. But um, he came in to probably, I don't know, 50 yards or something. It was coming in and then turned around and exited. But there's another bull bugling further out there a little bit. Not much of when he was standing right over there. Yeah. <laughs> Not the exit, you know. Just, no. I think he went to Dell's action. Uh, like when he, it seemed like down. I saw him with his nose at it. It seemed like we had the wind good. He pointed that there was a bull. I 
saw you guys shift, so I, I saw antlers when I saw that. This is stellar. Dude, it's awesome. Hopefully it gives us enough, another hour of making noise before they shut up. around it. Yeah, it's been a while since I've tromped around in the timber. This is the antichrist of my hunting. <laughs>
first bull to, to get his cows up in there. We had five bulls to play with this morning on the ridge on the other side and <laughs> it all evaporated. We don't even know what spooked them, but all of a sudden one of them came peeling up out of the timber back up the ridge and then they shot down the end of the ridge dragging that monster seven by seven with them and kind of leaving us here scratching our heads and trying to figure out a plan B for the morning. So. Might be a plan C at this point. Yeah, yeah no kidding, huh? Might be even D. Yeah. But uh, I think we're gonna climb back up and then skirt around and check out some new country and hopefully turn up some elk. Yesterday we saw some couple groups of elk that were in a spot in a canyon that was going to be pretty tough to get at but we devised a, another plan so we're going to get after it early tomorrow morning and uh, we probably have I don't know 
at least four miles before we get to them, maybe five, some, somewhere in that range. So early start tomorrow and uh, early bed tonight. <laughs> Ten o'clock, bulls are still bugling. We're about halfway down to the bottom of this canyon. I don't know, it's gotta be, it's probably two, 1,500, 2,000 foot drop, huh? <clears throat> I haven't looked talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't wanna climb back out of it. But man, the elk are in here thick today. So we've seen nine confirmed bulls in this canyon. And then there's another one, at least one more that we've heard bugle and that we didn't lay eyes on. So there's at least 10 bulls in this canyon and uh, they seem to be pretty fired up. There's maybe 10 cows in this whole canyon. Uh, we're gonna continue dropping down, hoping that the wind is still coming down the canyon and then work our way back up and start uh, hopefully get some shot opportunities here. Be the first of the trip. Make some arrows. Somebody turn up the oxygen levels. <laughs> this is ridiculous.
a couple of minutes. I want to get a ways up.
Oh, that that was not. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to be right over here. I thought you were. How close are you? Like five, four or five feet. We blew another one. I think that was that one. He went down. Yeah. That was crazy. I didn't see him die. But I could see you. That's much your shaft sticking out the back. I think it's not good. Right here? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> that's five feet. It might be six. Yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, South put a great arrow on the bull. He ran out of sight here. I'm fairly certain he's down below us dead 100 yards. He was, I could hear the lungs sucking. Um, we're, we're gonna go back to camp stage the llamas um, before you know for for sure he got one lung I'm pretty positive he got two lungs but we're gonna give him a few hours go get the llamas and then we're gonna go sneak in and go uh, do some butchering yeah baby. make some meat make some meat <laughs> I'm like, dude, how are you seeing blood from the... <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Hell yeah, dude. guys man thank you for following me around in the mountains here for the last what has it been five days sticking with me man we put on some miles and elevation we getting our butts kicked had to shoot this guy in self-defense just about <laughs> man oh man look at him wow he exceeds anything I could have wanted look at this man can't complain to an entrance. I mean, he was he was quartering in. But I could have, yeah, I could have been a little tighter. But man, I mean, shoot him on the move at six feet. Wow. 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 <laughs> this is my first bull with the trad bow. First elk with the trad bow. I am, I'm over the moon, man. 
I was so nervous with this shot and the blood trail and just like the dread and the, uh, we've all been there before, you know, that sick feeling of just following little pin drops of blood, but I'll tell you, stick with it. It'll be interesting to see how far he went. Man, look at him, what a bomber. What a beautiful bull. Holy cow. I bet you he was dead within five minutes after. Because, I mean, this guy's stiff. He's bored. Wow, look at this. <laughs> All right. We're going to be eating well. Look at this. How dark his horns are from rubbing in the burn. This is going to be cool. Wow, what a year I've had, man. I am so blessed. Look at all this meat for the freezer. Nice job, you guys. Nice job. Nice shooting, South. Yeah, let's... Did a lot of mule deer. Right. <laughs> I could just about have closed my eyes and gotten this guy. <laughs> all right, let's go get our packs and work begins, huh? Work begins.